So, we go down, <laughs> and then we just pick up, and ta-da, oops. <laughs> Here we go. And it, and it drops all the sand too. It's entirely made of Legos. We also computer science majors, so don't make fun of us. <laughs> Most of the class is computer science there majors, so... <laughs> You use the back plating here to push in as well as scoop at the same time. So. And then to remove the sand, you can just shake it a little bit. Make a strike here. You would just go kind of go right underneath the rock and scoop it up. If I can actually get a rock in here. Just scoop. So if you look on the inside, there's a small rubber band that kind of reflects <coughs> it. So once you pull it, you don't have to maneuver again so that it closes. It just kind of automatically works on its own. And you can pick up more than one thing at a time, which is, I don't think that would be necessary, but, um, yeah. This is how you can pick up ping pong balls pretty easily. Won't fall out. Same with rocks. It's a little flimsy, but <laughs> it has a lot of power to pick up a lot of different things, and the grip, the grippy uh, rubber helps hold things in place. But it works pretty well for ping pong balls. We have the scoop here, and the curve here to close whatever you're holding. Since mine's made out of cardboard, I think it's only going to manage ping pong balls right now. Um, but there would be a motor mounted to the top of it that would open the front scoop. Um, it would come down, close it, and contain the whole thing. I'm a computer science major, and I firmly believe in duct taping everything. Duct tape.